Living in Lafayette has been fantastic for my artwork because it's a quiet community and it's also incredibly supportive. My art is a combination of mediums. I learned at an early age it's really important to be an active member in our democracy. I grew up in the 60s and very active, tumultuous time and making sense of what was going on in the world. And when I got older, I realized I really wanted to put these things together. So that's what my art is. My art is politically active, it's social justice issues. Probably about 20 years ago, I started to put these things together and talk through my art and find my voice through needle and thread. The fabulous thing about needle and thread and fabric is it carries so much meaning just all on its own. So if I make a shirt, the shirt talks about fashion, it talks about time and era, it talks about gender, it talks about so many things, and then I can put another layer of my own thinking, my own thoughts and my own imagery on top of that. When the pandemic started, the kids were out of school and art education is so important. So I really wanted to give them an opportunity for at least supplies. I call it the Mighty Linden Tree Public Art Gallery. And it's in front of my house, it's like a little library, but it has art supplies. People have donated, sometimes people drop things off, they'll have uh, extra paint sets or color pencils, but I always try and keep it stocked with paper and crayons or pencils. It's not just about playing, it's about fine art as well, but the kids just need to be engaged, and adults are interested too. It was really fun. I think I got a lot of really good feedback from families saying, I'm so glad you did this. I think art is important for everyone. I think making art, even if you don't feel like an artist, is really important because it teaches you about yourself. It teaches you that you can get through something that's really uncomfortable. It teaches you that maybe it's not quite so important to get this perfectly right, that maybe your expression is more important or your feelings about it are more important. I think it's also really important because it really can teach kids troubleshooting and solution building. And you get into a painting and you think, what am I doing, this is horrible. But you stay with it, you stick with it, and it wor you work it out. You put things together that you hadn't thought about before. You come up with new solutions, new ideas. And so I think art is really important for artists and non-artists. You know, just to go through the process of creating something and you also appreciate what other people do. Art can really change my perspective on a topic that I was thinking about or considering or I thought, oh, I know about this. My work confronts me on my own assumptions and that's really why I do it, to really explore my own issues and to share that with the community. I think if I'm feeling something, somebody else probably is too. Lafayette has been both my subject and my audience. It's been my mentors and my friends, my community of like-minded artists and my community of not like-minded people, you know, and how that's playing out in our community affects my art. And so we've really come together in the years that I've lived in Lafayette to create this amazingly supportive community. This community is a great give and take community because they're a great audience, they've supported my work, and they, there's a need for artists in Lafayette and communication with people that are non-artists and kids and um, families. So it's been a really good opportunity to live in Lafayette. Living in Lafayette and being a Lafayette artist has given me so many opportunities, not only to offer things to the community, but to get grants for that to be supported financially. It's a quiet community, and so I can spend time in my studio and not worry about the busy world outside. It's very much a retreat, but it's also very active. So if you want to participate, it's right outside your door. We've got the collective, we've got so many art programs. So it's contributed to my own art career, my own art life, 
and I feel like I've also contributed to it through different programs at the schools and the um, little library gallery that I created and the studio tour and different volunteer programs. So it's been a very fruitful place to have an art career. Thank you.